Here he comes. Those are the last two lifts off my truck. I have an empty flatbed behind me now. Diesel, you want to say good morning to the good people? Good morning to the good people. Good, good boy. You're looking mighty handsome today. Mighty handsome. <laughs> nice people here. Nice people. Any one of you who tells me Americans aren't nice, I refuse to believe you. Gave me all the dunnage I'll need for my next load here. Such nice people. And I remember where people treat me nicely. I remember, I'll remember this place. All right. Got my half hour break in here after they were done unloading me. They let me just sit here in their yard for 30 minutes so that I can count it as my break. Had a little bit to eat. Fed diesel. Now I gotta see if I can get out of here. Looks like I should have room. How do I get out of here? Okay, so I go this way. Can I get out this way? Is there an exit or do I have to back up and go out the way I came in? Who knows? It is hot though. Wow! It is 21 Celsius. Oh yeah, there's an exit. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to Ontario, there, eh? Oh yeah. Pick up some, pick up some cement drums, eh? Did I already tell you that? Yeah, we got cement truck drums. They uh. Yo, uh -oh, those guys coming in here now. I'll show you them tomorrow when I pick them up. It's a decent load. I'm happy with it. I'm going to Edmonton. It's a good way to end the month. This month has been kind of a slow month for freight. Drive 1.2 kilometers, then turn right on 68th Street Southwest. Been hauling a lot of lumber around. Okay guys, I want to go too. Alright. And lumber isn't exactly the most highest paying freight. It, it pays the... It pays the bills pretty much, but it doesn't leave any extra. Not much extra anyways. So this next load will be a little better. And maybe if we deliver it on Monday, which is the 30th, no, the 29th? Yeah, it's the 29th. And then we can get reloaded on the 29th yet and deliver somewhere on the 30th, get another load in this month yet. We'll see. Gotta keep running hard. And we're just on the way to the gym here in Schwartz Creek, Michigan. This is the regular gym that we usually go to. The freeway is just off to our left. We had to get off there. And this takes us into town. I haven't been there this early before. It's just about 6.30. Usually I'm there a little. Then again, it felt like I was there later last time because last time was still winter. And it was dark at this time already. I'm going to go spend about an hour there and then make our way into Ontario. Our shipper is expecting us there first thing tomorrow morning. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get loaded. Hopefully not too long. At least we get to go the scenic route here a little bit, eh? This place looks so different when there's no snow here. Look at this green grass! Trees are budding. Wow! We don't have that to look forward to in Canada. I live my part of Canada for a little while yet. Southern Ontario, where we're headed, is probably around the same stage of spring as Michigan. Park out here in the back, and Snap Fitness is just off to the right there. Another good workout. We're just getting on to the freeway again. It's about another hour or so until uh, the last pilot flying J in the United States before you hit Sarnia, Ontario. But I want to stop there and grab fuel because it's quite a bit cheaper there than it is on the other side of the border. I also want to have a shower. And then from there, it'll just be like another hour and a half or so to 
So the town's called Alamer or Al Al Alimer, Alamer, Ontario. I'll probably go and sleep in London, Ontario. It's almost over. I feel tired after that workout. That was good. It feels so good. The last time I got to the gym was in Moose Jaw. That was almost a week again. Gotta start uh, getting better again. It's just I haven't had any time. I've been so busy. Today was the first day in quite a while that I actually had the time to swing in there. I was in there for about 45 minutes. All right. Last chance for some good old cheap American juice. What's the price at right now? Three twenty-five nine cash price per U.S. gallon of diesel. It's still pretty high compared to other places that I've seen. Still a lot lower than just like ten miles up the road in Canada. <laughs> Let's drag my butt around the corner here. Oh yeah. I always stop by here. Always do. Mainly because of the cheap fuel, but today I'm gonna grab a shower. Hopefully the showers aren't all used up right now. I'm busy. I mean, this is the time of day when most people stop and have a shower. I might have to wait a little bit. Hopefully not. It looks pretty full here already. Uh, not good. Not good at all. I need to find a parking spot after I fuel yet, otherwise I can't just can't just park anywhere and run in for a shower. I definitely can't just stay in the pumps while I run in and have a shower. I'd be the biggest hypocrite on planet Earth if I did that. Guess we'll we'll see. I gotta make sure I got cash for the bridge too. Gotta pay a. $20 or $18 toll, something like that, to get into Canada. I know, they charge me to go home. They want they want me to stay in America so badly that they charge me to go home. Like, no, Trucker Josh, we want you to stay. We will fine you if you leave. I'm sorry, I gotta go home. I'm using this new men's soap right now. It's I think it's called Sasquatch. It's made in, like, Washington State. It's all natural ingredients, all natural everything, right? But it's made for men, and it is amazing. The first time I used it, it's just... Oh, it smells good, it works good. I believe it's called Sasquatch. I ordered it off their website. Sasquatch soap. <laughs> it, actually, it was actually an ad before a YouTube video that convinced me to buy them. Their ads are hilarious. If, if you have time or if you think of it, and you're on YouTube, look up uh, Sasquatch soap ads. And it should be these like guys out of the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Hilarious. And so uh, it convinced me to buy some of their soap. And it, it is what they say it is. It is amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> you have three hours and 44 minutes of remaining drive time. Well, who are you? We've never met before. How did the volume get turned on on this? I usually have the volume turned off. We've never met before. Hello. I am Josh. They, they call me Trucker Josh. What's your name? She's a little shy. Well, if you're not gonna tell me your name, I'm gonna name you. Uh, we'll think of something, we'll think of something. That is my uh, my computer, my, my, my whole truck right here, my e-log, my Qualcomm, my satellite, my connection back home to the, to the office where all my loads come in and where I tell them what I'm doing, where I am. This is the brain of the truck, sort of. Well, the brain of the truck's back there, but this is her face, the face of the brain. And you thought it was me. <laughs> I just hold the steering wheel. All right, let's get out of here. Got a little bit further to go yet. There we go. We got a lot of bugs on the windshield. And I totally forgot to wash them off when I fueled. Yay me. Sorry guys. Just enjoy it. It means that summer's on the way. Onto Roxburg Road, then turn left onto Wilton Grove Road. Over 
here in London, I'm gonna go to the Petropass truck stop that I've stopped at a couple of times now. I like it because it's kind of off the beaten path and it's not as popular as the Flying J and Husky just down the road there. So, turn left onto Wilton Grove Road. Usually not as full, but then again, there's th there's no convenience store or anything open throughout the night. Why not have a stop sign? Okay, I don't have a stop sign, but he does. That's confusing. In 800 meters, your destination will be on the right. Gotcha. Yeah, there's no services here through the night, like, or anything like that. So that's why not a lot of people come and park here. And that's why I come and park here. Because <laughs> I could go down the road to the bigger truck stops, but why would I even bother risking it? Because it's midnight and I doubt there's going to be any parking. So I'd be in, I'd end up coming back here anyway. Oh, there's a Freightliner dealer right here too. I forgot about that. I had to replace my glad hand the other day. I got to go replace that. I like to have extra parts in the truck with me. There was a rat. That was a big rat that just crossed the road. Your destination is on the right. Yeah, I see that. So is the rat in the ditch there somewhere. That was a big rat with a big tail. What was he doing here? So here's the petrol pass. Don't need to fuel here because I fueled in the US. I'm not gonna pay that stupid carbon tax if I don't have to. And it looks like there's a lot of space here. Good, I'm gonna park right along the edge. Out of everybody's way and nobody to wake me up. As long as it's level. I don't want to be leaning towards the driver's side though. I might have to turn around. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website transportationnation.com and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description.